Sega Genesis. Now this game is extremely on underway. It, they, these two guys almost became Sega's mascots. Like literally, I am not kidding. These two were this popular. The only reason they did become the big mascots at Sega is because Sonic came along. Well, we all know what a big hit that was. Um, and this game is freaking amazing. It has great humor, great gameplay the music absolutely kicks ass what more do I have to say for you to go out and buy this I mean you could get eight dollars on the first world console for another eight dollars you can get a sequel which though I haven't played yet so I'm not gonna give you an opinion on that but this one I have played and I can tell you it kicks ass basically you play as one of the two, either a big orange alien or a skinny red one. The red one's called Torchem, and the orange one's called Oral. You play as one of them, and you go from level to level. Basically, you walk around, you collect presents, you can open the presents up for health, rings, which are actually called Icarus rings. A little nod to Kit Icarus, the NES game, I guess. And you can get tools like that, you can get speed shoes, jump shoes. All this kind of cool crap. Um, and you have to run away from enemies when they come at you. And find the elevator to go to the next level. And sometimes the message will pop up when you begin a level saying, There's a ship peak. There's a ship peach here. And that means there's a ship peach somewhere on this level that you have to find and collect before you go up to the next level. And if you fall off the side of the level, you fall down to the last level you are on. This game does present a challenge for even me, and I've been playing a lot harder games for a little while now. And it's also so lots of fun, it has some great humor, and it has two player mode. One player plays as Torchem, the other plays as Ol. And when one character goes off the screen, it goes split screen. It automatically turns into a split screen. Then when the two characters meet up again it goes back to full screen and whenever the elevator is going up in between levels when you're playing co-op there's always all and towards them always exchange little messages that will give you a good suckle the game's very fun it's very addicting and i absolutely love it and once again the music is great now i'm going to give you a quick quick rundown of the plot all right all and Torchem are two big rapping aliens from a faraway planet and they are psychedelic as they call it spaceship it's hit by meteors when Ol's driving and Torchem later remarks never let Torchem what? what am I saying? I must be crazy Torchem says never let Ol drive anyways Ol's, Ol is driving the spaceship they get hit by a meteor they crash on Earth space pieces are everywhere that's why you're collecting space pieces from level to level. Once you collect all of them, you win the game, and you go on. I believe there's about trade, trade two levels in total. It's lots of fun, it will keep you busy for a while. And it's only eight dollars on the first world console. And it will be probably even cheaper if you find it for the original Sega census. I would know for so, so they'll hold me on that one. Now this is just another quick review, just like my Kobe offense, so, though, so I hope you were expecting anything epic and great here, because I'm sure you'll disappoint it if you are. Um, and I'm trying to do this in one take, so let's go straight to the final score now. 
graphics, 5 out of 5. There are some things in the graphics, like in the enemy animations, that will make you laugh your ass off. Like the evil dentists. Um, don't ask me what's the evil dentist. I'll just tell you to go play the game to find out. Um, the sounds get a 5 out of 5, because like I said, the music's great, and I didn't mention this, but the sound effects are hilarious. Like, I believe the evil de dentist laughs when he jumps at you. Um, gameplay, 5 out of 5. I mean, you're collecting items, you're collecting ship pieces, the items you can use to power up, give you more health, you're going from level to level, and it's pretty original, the level layout and everything. The enemies are cool, the storyline's entertaining, it's um, it's a good game for gameplay, definitely gameplay's 5 out of 5. And then, entertainment, I've already talked about how much this game will make you laugh, so definitely 5 out of 5. And controls are perfect, whether you're using the Wii remote, the GameCube controller, or the classic control. 5 out of 5 control controls. Now. With all this shit, it's pretty obvious that BCCR recommends this game, and I recommend you go get it on the Virtual Console for only eight dollars, aka eight hundred Wii points. It has been. It is called Toad Seven All. You can also get its sequel. Um, and that's all I have to say. Thank you and good night. Hey, just thought I'd add on a couple things I forgot to say. First thing I forgot to say is that the final score is 10 out of 10 for Total Seminole. I highly recommend it. And also, I'm going to be adding on this to the end of the video. <laughs>